Hello everyone, my name is Suzanne Hart and this week's habit is commitment. Now commitment is the ongoing pursuit of a worthy goal until, until achieved, not until impatient, not until frustrated, not until challenged, not until bored, until you hit that target, you achieve that goal. Now earlier, I did a video that said that persistence gives commitment life. So one of the key components of having commitment is also having mastered the habit of persistent, persistence and mastering the habit of delayed gratification. Because you see, it's what happens between the gap between where you are and where do you desire to be, that is where commitment lives. So the question is, what gives commitment the, uh, the energy to actually be achieved? Well, let me give you a few things that I've learned. One is you have got to have clear goals. Now, this is to have clear and measurable goals and targets. Now, to me, the target is the thing that you're aiming at, that thing that you're passionate about, and the goals are the incremental steps, those clear, measurable steps that you're going to take in order to hit that target. So whatever it is, you've got to have a clear target. The other thing that's required for commitment to really get life is for you to have a vision that is worthy of your life that includes that target. Because you see, oftentimes people start businesses or they do things because they wanna make money. But money isn't what gets us excited, it's the vision we have about what we can do with that money that gives that commitment life. So in order to stay committed, you've gotta have a vision that's worthy of your life, something that is so clear, painted in colors, painted with, with vi vivid, energy, passion. You've got to be able to taste it, smell it, feel it. Your vision is what gives your commitment energy. But the other thing that's really interesting is it also have to have purpose. And purpose is kind of the reason behind that vision. Why is that vision so important to you? So one of the things that, I, that if you know me, you know I love travel. I have a desire to see the world. And part of it is as I want to be able to understand and contribute in a real way. And so for me, one of the things is to be able to go places, understand cultures, races, ethnicities, religions, groups, what makes people tick so that I can properly serve. I also just love the freedom of travel. So for me, the purpose behind it is bigger than just being able to get on a plane. It's having a true understanding of people all around the world and to arm myself with knowledge of all these cultures. So that's one of the reasons, that's one of my purposes, but the higher level is to truly serve. Now, another thing about commitment is being to take that consistent, persistent action over time. And action is one of the biggest things. It's actually the thing that makes commitment real. Because I can't be committed and sitting still. I've got to be committed and in persistent, consistent action. And in order to do that, I'm required to do the work that has me get past my fears, get past the things that have me stuck and not able to move. Now that's mindset mastery, truly. That is mastering your thinking, that is mastering your emotions, and that is mastering the conversations you have with yourself, and in turn, the conversations you have with the world. Now you see all the components that make commitment live, to bring it to life. This is why oftentimes people say they're committed, but when you examine their behaviors, you realize that they want to be committed. They're dreaming of being committed. They have a desire to, of, of being committed, but they haven't mastered the habit of commitment. This week's habit is commitment. I would recommend you re-listen you re to this video. Write down all the components necessary for you to become truly committed and go to work on mastering each of them. My name is Suzanne Hart and this week's habit is commitment.